Hello and welcome to the Genuine Learning Blog. My name is Melissa Galasso and today we're going to talk about proposed SSAE or attestation standard to conform with quality management. So the AICPA previously issued SQMS 1 and 2, technically also 3, as well as SAS 146 and SARS 26, which provide guidance around quality management. This will replace the extant quality control standards. So SQMS 1 defines the system of quality management. SQMS 2 provides information around quality reviews. SAS 146 and SARS 26 says, how do you leverage your quality management system um, in an engagement and provides engagement level guidance for audits as well as review and prep and comp engagements. However, there did not have an equivalent for the SSAEs, right? And so for the attestation standards, which include examinations and reviews, um, there was not an issued proposal to conform to quality management. And when you look at the definition of an accounting and auditing practice, it is a practice that performs engagements covered by this section, which are audit, attestation, review, compilation, and any other services for which standards have been promulgated by the ASB or ARSC. Uh, and so as a result, um, the attestation standards are subject to the new quality management standards. So therefore they have to make conforming amendments to all of the most recently issued SSAEs, right? 18, 19, 21, and 22, um, all need to have conforming amendments made. However, the ASB does not believe that this is going to make significant changes, right, in terms of practice. It really is more of conforming to the language and to the requirements that are out there with respect to quality management. So if you are already uh, using and updating your quality management system, uh, then this should not be a very big deal in terms of application. Um, some of the proposed changes include uh, leadership responsibilities for quality in attestation engagements. Obviously, if it's within the scope of quality management, all of the work that you're doing on the system will then apply. And then again, you have engagement requirements uh, for the audit partner on that engagement. It also incorporates and emphasizes the importance of these concepts underpinning the other quality requirements in both the suite of quality management standards and obviously this proposed standard. So again, going back to the concept of, okay, we're just trying to make sure that there's consistency here. Uh, and similar to SQMS 3, uh, which was issued as a result of SAS 149, and they kind of go hand in hand together, um, group audits created a little bit of confusion because we had this concept of a component auditor and a component auditor could have been made reference to or not. And what the standard clarified in 149 is that there's really two types of auditors, what they're gonna call a referred to auditor, who is not part of the engagement team and not part of the quality management, and then your component auditor, which is part of the engagement team and is subject to your quality management. Uh, and so they made that differentiation there. Um, so again, consistent with sort of that issue is amends the definition of an other practitioner and the requirements around using an other practitioner in order to, again, align with the concept of what is subject to quality management and how when engagements are or not subject. And so again, it's going to be consistent with the SQMS 1, uh, similar to how we had to address that in SAS 149, as well as SQMS number 3. So in terms of proposed effective date, no surprise, this is going to align with the other standards. So SQMS 1, 2, SAS 146, and SARS 26 are all for engagements that have fiscal periods, if you're looking at the SASs or the SARS, um, around that December 15th, 2025. Um, because attestation engagements don't have a fiscal period, um, it would just be for engagements performed beginning on or after. Uh, and so that is usually how we have to do it because this subject matter is not a financial statement. So when you're doing the SASs and the SARs, the subject matter are financial statements. So there are periods that we can wrap around that. For engagements like this, it's not a financial statement. And so as a result, we have to just do a line in the sand, which is how all the attestation standards are done. Um, but SQMS uh, uh, 1 and 2, right, they are designed to be implemented by uh, December 15th of 2025. So then anything that's after you've implemented it would be subject to the new standards. So again, the timing of it is going to make sure that they're all kind of effective at the same time. All right, so that's a wrap on this week's blog. Again, nice and uh, short and sweet and to the point, but important to note that they are making these changes to the attestation standards for those of you who are performing AUPs, reviews, and examination engagements. So I wanna thank you guys for joining me, and I hope to see you on a future blog. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.